good morning guys it's time to cook some breakfast and today I will be cooking the Lucky Charms complete marshmallow packet kit I guess that's the Lucky Charms in the pancakes all right well I saw it and I knew my girls would want it and they also have it uh, here it is they also have it in the cinnamon toast crunch I got that too so I will definitely be doing a video on the uh, cinnamon toast crunch cereal pancakes as well because that's basically what it is pancakes in the cereal chai so let me see what's going on here okay let me show y'all they got a picture of it in the back I mean I knew the girls would like it shucks I'm gonna like it too all right what we got going on just reading over the directions real quick don't do not eat raw pancake batter I don't know why they got to put that on the box for y'all anyway all right so it looks easy heat skillet over medium high heat duh stir lucky charm pancake mix and water milk okay blah 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 pour slightly okay so it's just you mixing it with milk and that's it you got to add a little milk okay that's easy make your pancakes okay stack the pancakes blah 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 okay and it looks like we just it looks easy it's just a pancake mix you add milk to it okay all right okay 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 let's see what comes in his okay all right here it is so all the thing that comes in the um <clears throat> only thing that we have here is the pancake mix uh the cereal topping and it says here just add water or milk i'm gonna add milk but yeah it's easy y'all easy enough okay all right, well, let's see. So, we got the Lucky Charm pancakes. That should be interesting. I uh, got some eggs, make some scrambled eggs, and I got that Smithfield bacon. I like the thick cut bacon. Don't give me that skinny bacon. <laughs> you know, give me something thick. <laughs> Don't be giving me the skinny. <laughs> anyway, y'all. So, all right, that's our breakfast. Pancakes, eggs, and bacon. That's good. That's a good breakfast right there. So, let's go ahead. Let's get to cooking. Let's go. All right, guys, we are back. I've already cooked the eggs and bacon. Y'all not seen me cook eggs and bacon a million times. Ooh, look at that goodness. Y'all know I'm going to bring it in for y'all. Ooh, look at that juicy, greasy bacon. That's right, I said it. Juicy, greasy bacon. It ain't turkey bacon, baby. It ain't turkey bacon. That's real pig. Oink, oink, right there. Yes. Got the scrambled eggs. Y'all seen me cook scrambled eggs a million times. Go back to some of my other videos. You'll see how I cook the bacon and the eggs. Ain't that serious, y'all? Guys. Ooh. Thank you, God, for the pig that provided this bacon. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. All right. Okay. So, all right. So, y'all see the bacon and the eggs? Let's get into these lucky charm pancakes. All right. Let's see what we got to do. Hold on, y'all. Let me get y'all right. Cut. All right, so let's see what we got to do for these pancakes. I remember it saying just add milk, so let's see what's going on in the box, y'all. All right, so what we got in here? We got, okay. I guess these are, okay, yeah, it said these are the Lucky Charm toppings. Okay. Okay, so, you know, I guess we kind of crumble them across the pancakes. Okay, all right, this is the pancake mix. All right, I see the pancake mix. And if y'all look real closely, y'all see they got like little bits. I can't really, I hope y'all see it. But it's got like little, looks like it's got little crumbles of Lucky Charm cereal in there. Y'all see the color right there, little, yeah, right there. Like it's got like little pieces of cereal in it. It looks like they all crumbled up in there. So that's what's going to be in the pancake mix. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we're doing. All right, where are instructions at? I don't understand this. Okay, I already know about heating the skillet up. Stir Lucky Charm pancake mix in war or water. Uh, pancake mix, milk or water. Okay, blend. All right, but how much? What are the instructions as to how much milk I'm going to be using, y'all? Like, where it's at? What are directions at? How much milk going to these pancakes? Makes about 16 and 16, three and a half inch pancakes. Okay, that's fine. But I'm trying to see how much milk we putting in these things. I'm not understanding this. Okay, duh. Y'all look, it's right here. Right here in my face. You will need one and a, one and two third cups 
of water or milk right there in my face sometimes you be looking so hard work that's the word of the day sometimes you be looking so hard that you look right it be right there in your face stop looking so hard it's right there in your face word of the day don't look so hard y'all know what that means don't be looking so hard it's right there in your face anyway all right so that's let me go back to that milk that's one and two thirds cups of milk all right so let's get this open the pancake mix open and then we'll get our one and two third cups of milk in our mix okay one and two third cups all right let's get the pancake mix dumped in this is a lot of mix so this gonna make you know quite a few pancakes i'll make the pancakes medium all right okay all of that all of that all of that okay we'll save this because this is going to go on at the end on our pancakes like you know kind of drizzle drizzle them over the pancakes so we'll put that to the side all right so let's get let me get a fork so i can mix this up real good i already got my milk out one and two thirds all right let me get my measuring Thirds. Where is it? I got one third, one half. Okay, try. One and two thirds. Let me get my other, my other measuring cup. That's that Pyrex. Y'all know that. That that's the popular brand. Anyway, Chuck. All right, one and two thirds. So let me use my one cup. One cup of milk. I'm gonna use milk, not water. One cup of milk. Now I need two thirds. All right, let's see. Let me rinse this out first. Y'all know I'm old school. If I grab a dish out, you gotta rinse it. That's old school right there. All right, two third cup. Where is our two third cups? Right here. Where's the two thirds? Okay, here it is right here. Two-thirds right there. All right, so let's get this filled up to the two-third line real quick. All right. Let me sit that flat to make sure that's right. Perfect, two-third cups. All right, so we got our one and two-third cups. Mix that, cover that milk up. All right, we're just mixing this up, child. Just like regular pancake mix when you add water or you add milk chow. So we just mixing this up. All right, so. And y'all can see, I'm gonna show y'all now that I'm mixing it up. You can see the little pieces of the Lucky Charm, like the little, I don't know if that's Lucky Charms or Sprinkles chow. I don't know what that is they got mixed up in there. But it's mixed up in the pancake batter. So it's already in your batter. I got a funny feeling these gonna be real sweet. Nah, they might not be that sweet. But, all right y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up. And then the next thing y'all will be seeing is me cooking the pancakes. I'll be back. Okay y'all, I'm back, ready to cook my pancake. Now, what I'm using today, I am using the Publix vegetable oil. You know, frying, cooking, whatever you need to do, it's vegetable oil. Y'all think that make it healthier because it's vegetable oil? Well, I'm going to start using this vegetable oil because it sounds healthier to me. It's oil made out of vegetables, right? Okay, huh? Whatever. It sounded good to me, so healthier vegetable oil. So, I got my vegetable oil in here. And I always use this little scooper for my pancakes. Let me cut my heat down a little bit. I don't need it too high. Go ahead and get my pancake in there you got to make sure your oil nice and hot don't be dropping them pancakes in no cold oil all right and i always use my little pan you know your little frying pan that comes in your set i always use this because you know what it makes the perfect pancake see and i just kind of move my pancake around so it can shape to the bottom of the pan if y'all ever see me cook my pancakes on my channel i always use this use your little pan that makes the perfect pancake size unless you want them big giant ones that you have a hard time flipping. All right. 
so let me make sure y'all can see let me zoom y'all in good let me zoom y'all into the pancake god god okay all right you all can see looking good all right looking good kind of move it around a little bit now the secret to a pancake once you see your top start bubbling at the top and you kind of lift your pancake up at the side there just to see how it's looking down up okay that's a little brown let me get that pancake flipped over okay flip it over and i put a little bit of more oil in there a little bit of more y'all know what i mean a little bit more of the vegetable oil i kind of pour it on the side like that just a little bit more and then i take my pan and i just kind of move that oil around oh yeah okay cute little pancake these cute okay all right now don't start nothing don't it won't be nothing okay all right little cute little pancake i'm gonna flip it back over oh i see the colors in the inside yeah let me cut my heat down a little bit we gotta be careful with pancakes put a little bit more oil on the side need some oil in there that's what helps you cook your pancake. You need your oil in there. Okay. All right. You flip it over. Okay. Oh, okay. I see the little colors in there. Y'all see the little colors? I think them like sprinkles they got in there, y'all. Because them ain't Lucky Charms. Them sprinkles. But, oh, it smells sweet. Y'all can see it. Yeah, they got like little sprinkles in there. But they cute, though. They cute. I think they'll probably taste like regular pancakes with like a little, like little sprinkles in it. That's gonna make it a little sweeter. Okay. All right. Okay, y'all. That's old school pancake right there, y'all. That ain't burnt. Don't do that. That's not burnt. That's a nice old school pancake right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we did that. Oh, that's nice. I usually don't smash my pancakes down. I like for them to stay fluffy. I mean, but sometimes I do. I ain't gonna say that's wrong. However you want to cook your pancake, that's your business. That's your business how you want to cook your pancake. That smells real sweet. That pancake smells real sweet. All right, let me show y'all. I'm gonna do one more. Show y'all how I pour my oil in there. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, guys. Vegetable oil. So, I'm sure that means it's extra healthy because it's vegetable oil. I don't know, y'all. It just sounds right to me. That's just what I'm telling myself. All right, now get my scoop of pancake mix. Drop it in there like that. Maybe this one will come out better, y'all. But that's old school pancake right there. It ain't burnt. And I just kind of move my pan around. See what I mean? And it just takes the shape of the bottom of that pan. And your oil goes around the side. Help cook your pancake. Let it cook, get all cute, bubbly at the top. Let me show y'all the pancake. Let me show y'all. See, pancake ain't burnt. That's a pancake. That's how pancake poster look. That's how it's a poster look, y'all. A poster look. That's how the Rugrats say it. A poster. Ooh, child, y'all know I got kids. I'm talking like the Rugrats up in here. But okay, all right, so. See how I start bub bub bubbling on the top? Yeah, and I'ma just do a little peek underneath. Do a little peek underneath there. Now I ain't quite ready yet. You get that oil going around again. Just kind of lift from your side, you know. Get it scraped all up. And you just, well, bam! Like that. And see, with this small pan, it makes it easier to flip your pancakes over, you know? Makes it so much easier to flip your pancakes. Instead of trying to cook your pancakes in that big old pan, trying to flip your pancakes, and you don't flip them right, and they come out all messed up, just use your little cute little frying pan. Y'all think about it. When y'all get the frying pan set, you get the small frying pan. What we usually use that little small pan for? Not much, but I use it for like grilled cheese sandwiches or for my pancakes. I use it for my pancakes all the time. All the time, guys. Oh, yeah, that's cute. That's another little cute pancake. Remember, the key is keeping your pan oil, especially when it comes to pancakes. Because y'all know pancakes stick real quick. We don't need all that happening. We trying to stick. Okay. Let's see how it look over there. Ooh. Ooh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute, y'all. 
that is real cute. Ooh, y'all, don't be hating on my pancakes now. And you know what? I can cook a whole batch of pancakes in like five minutes. It don't take much. Flip it back over. Ooh, they smell so good. It does. It smells so good. All right. Let's go ahead. We got that one. I, I do a little smash because you want to make sure the inside get cooked. So I do a little mini smash. I don't smash it down too hard because I don't be want my pancakes to be flat. All right. Ooh. Look at our pancakes over there, y'all. Ooh. 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 Hey. Old school pancakes right there. Old school. That's how they post the look. So, all right, y'all. I'll be back to show y'all the finishing results. All right, guys. Y'all see the finale? Y'all see the end? Y'all see I got the Lucky Charm pancakes all did up? Got the eggs and bacon over there? And, yes, this is our final results. Leave this big one over here. And then we got to put the final touches on our pancakes. I got the cereal. And this is basically the Lucky Charm cereal. And you just sprinkle it over there like that. Okay. They give you a bunch of cereal now. Uh-oh. Cereal falling. Oh, well. All right. You just put the little cereal on top like that. Make it all pretty. Don't do too much, girl. Don't do too much. Don't do too much, child. Drop a little bit over there on my plate. Okay. All right. Okay, y'all. Don't look cute. <laughs> Don't look real cute, y'all. I'm going to zoom y'all in to the Lucky Charm pancakes. Pancakes with Lucky Charm cereal. Sprinkle it over them. Lucky Charm pancakes, y'all. That's what it is. So, they look good. Y'all, I'm going to put some syrup on them. They're going to be good when I put that syrup on them. Y'all, let me show y'all the syrup that you children got. Okay. My daughter picked this out. The Fruity Pebbles Host Syrup. Fruity Pebble Flavor Syrup. Y'all know doggone well. That look like Miss Butterworth. Yeah, that is Miss Butterworth. Sure is Miss Butterworth. With this Fruity Pebble Syrup. I gotta, let me zoom y'all back out. The Fruity Pebble Syrup. And then I got the Miss Butterworth. Y'all know that old school bake. I'm baking. I mean old school uh, syrup. Miss Butterworth right there. Look at that. An old school right there. Old school Butterworth. New school child. That's what's going on, y'all. New school. This is what they doing to Miss Butterworth now. Fruity Pebble flavor. It's so sweet, y'all. Old school. New school. That's what they doing now. But you know what? The kids love it. My kids love that sweet syrup. All right, y'all. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.